it's 444 and uh, just a few minutes after I cut it out the uh, crows were calling American crows calling and should be able to see them flying across the river uh, uh, they were in the woods uh, right next to me and uh, You should see some of them. Very noisy. And, uh, not sure if this is uh, going to roost or not. They're sort of flying. Uh, yeah, they're tending to go south now. Uh, but they they were on this side of the river and not in uh, the, the uh, duck hunting impoundments. And uh, so it, it appears that the work on the impoundments, maybe perhaps water drawdowns or either the corn uh, is perhaps exhausted and uh, what I am seeing might be uh, uh, the ducks just scattering out looking for other food sources. But those were certainly very noisy and uh, uh, very nearby. In fact, some of them flew right over my head. I'm going to pull, I'm going to try to keep the, uh, edge of the woods in the bottom of the, this is not, uh, There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, couldn't get the camera to focus. There's not much light tonight, and that may cause a problem. Uh, you see, the crows are flying very low. Uh, I'm going to go down a little bit. They're flying uh, perhaps and maybe that's what they do every night. I just haven't noticed that before. But they are uh, large numbers of crows flying very low. Perhaps that's just a part of my learning curve that I haven't seen that before. I'm going to let the uh, camera just run here. They, those are coming down from Pine Pine Plantation and Hope Plantation and perhaps further north. Uh, here comes a, a large larger uh, number of birds you see if I'm getting these uh, yeah looks looks like the camera is picking them up but you can see how low they're flying it's 449. And I, as I look up the river, uh, the birds are uh, a steady, it's a steady stream. Higher, and it may be out of cam the camera 
range they're blackbirds uh, just a steady stream they're also ducks by the way uh, There goes a, a V, that is probably Ibises, and that probably is in the camera range. Uh, the crows are, a, and the blackbirds above them are a steady stream. This is much earlier than uh, uh, I have seen the birds, and it may just be that I wasn't looking. Uh, yeah, I probably have been on the banks, but you they're so far away that without optics, uh, you just don't see birds. And then when you put binoculars on or a scope, all of a sudden there's lots of them. And I, I'm not sure if they've been there all along or uh, I just wasn't seeing them. But I have been seeing them within 30 minutes of sundown, which sundown tonight is going to be 6.07, 6.08. But it's heavy clouds, so uh, that may have something to do with the bird movement. Seeing uh, ducks high, crows low, and and most of the blackbirds uh, tend to be sort of in the middle, and uh, all moving uh, down the river. Very few birds uh, going any other direction. I uh, would give a, a warning on my thoughts and uh, project, projections of what I'm seeing. I've been pretty much wrong all the way through. I've been watching for almost, uh, six, eight days now and uh, learning uh, a, a lot every, uh, pretty much every night. Uh, uh, learn something. A lot of the crows we learned last night are coming right out of those uh, uh, pond pond and hope plantation duck fields. They're eating, they're eating uh, probably eating corn or they're doing something and then flying out. And uh, Uh, very large numbers of birds, very much in the distance. Uh, and I'm going to, I doubt very seriously if I'll be able to. Pick any of this up, but I'm going to try. Uh, large numbers and uh, I can't see them without optics so I'm not able to adjust the camera very well but very large number of birds and and uh, very likely not headed to Bear Island. They seem to be going way somewhere else. But uh, very distant. I'm going to come back down and find the tree line.
See, my cameras and I are having a hard time tonight. There's just not enough light, uh, probably. I was about to say that activity had slowed considerably until that very, very large flock of um, ducks of some sort uh, was flying very high. eagle just flying uh, over our head a couple hundred feet. Just in the leg of the this may not be showing up very good tonight. The light is just so so low. It is 4.56 and there are ibises in the distance down low. And uh, and pretty quiet so I'm going to hit we're 12 minutes into this recording. I'm gonna uh, pull out. You pull out and show you what I'm looking at. We're uh, that dike in the distance is at the Edisto River, and then of course there the river, and then impoundments on the other side. I'll. Uh, I'll pick it up as bird activity begins. It's 4.58.